you guys ready? Moment of truth. Okay, here's the brakes. I'm about to hit him right now. And my steering wheel, steady. Good morning, YouTube viewers. <clears throat> Thank you for watching MK Tech. Real quick, uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe and like button at the bottom. I'm a, a vlogger, Mike Kovalchuk, MK Tech, and uh, I vlog about interesting things. In today's vlog, um, we're gonna be working on my 370Z. This is where I'm driving right now. I'm gonna take off the brake discs and get them grinded, so uh, this won't be happening. Watch this, I'm gonna hit the brakes. You see the wheel? See that? And then also, notice my steering wheel. One second. Okay, notice my steering wheel. You see how that's off? That means that we need to get alignment done. That's gonna be next week. But this week, I wanna fix this. There we go. <laughs> Oops, hold on. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to remove the rotors and the brake pads from a 370Z, step by step. Okay, these are the tools I'm gonna be using. That's half inch, half inch socket, five, 15 sixteenths, uh, needle pliers, a little hammer, and a picking tool. First thing you're gonna do is remove these little clips here. One. Use this tool, and there's a little holes here, and you just knock this thing out. One, two, use pliers to remove it. One, and hold this so it might pop out. Okay, this comes out right here. Now let's remove the brake pads. One. Yeah, they're pretty beat. Okay, we we'll remove that. Let's go back to this bolt right here. Okay, now we're gonna remove this bolt and that bolt. One, two. Okay, now to get this off, we're gonna use this hole that is right here. And we're gonna put in the same half inch that we removed. Twelve is better, mm, instead of half inch. People say it's half inch, but it's actually twelve mm. Voila! That's off. Correction that I have to make on the tools: don't use fifteen sixteen socket. Use seven eighths. And instead of half inch, uh, use 12 millimeter socket for the other bolt. So this is the first side. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side 
and then I'll show you how to assemble everything back together and how to install the brake pads uh, to finish this process. Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, <laughs> what was that? I didn't hear you. Uh, some brake rotors. Oh, okay. Can you grind them for me? Yeah. Cool. These are the bad boys right here. They seem to be good, but uh, they've been standing for a while, so not break. It warps, yeah. I guess. Yeah, they can be warped like side to side. You can't really see it. But once you start turning it, you can tell because it'll just ching, ching, ching. Uh -huh. ching. How long is it going to take? It depends on how warped they are. Uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. Okay, so, uh, so just come back in an hour and a half? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll be back around two then. Yeah, he's gonna turn them for me. 12 bucks a piece. Bam. That's good. Now I gotta get some brake pads. Man, I still haven't, I still gotta, I still gotta work on my projects. I got two projects running right now. And I haven't got to them yet because I'm excited about the brakes. And once I start working on my Nissan, uh, my Z, man, I get excited, I get carried away, and the only thing I see is the Z. Okay, uh, let's go order some brake pads for it, the front ones. I'm not gonna do the rears today, I'm gonna do one at a time. I mean, I'm on the front, then I'll do the rear later. I wanna see the uh, how how they're gonna work out, if it's gonna fix the issue, or if it's the rears also that are warped. More than likely, who knows, but we'll see. Usually it's the front ones. Sorry, guys, I'm backing up at the same time while I'm talking. Hey, hi, John. No. <laughs> it's my vlog. No paparazzi. I got a YouTube channel now, John. Uh, Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I know. There you go. What are you doing? Uh, turning my rotors on my Z, like you told me, and it's not 15 bucks, it's 12. Okay. That's cool. It's even better. Yeah. Because O'Reilly's does it for 12 too, so I was, I was about to come in here and bargain with you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, can you give me some front brake pads? This is for touring package. The, it's the larger calipers. For calipers. Okay. And it's what year? 2010. 370Z. Got a new toy, John. It's a little small though. To be honest with you. Is that your suburban out there? Mm -hmm. You can put your car in the back of my Yeah, you car. can. <laughs> What's up, Dan? What's up? I'm a vlogger now. <laughs> huh? touring? Yeah, touring, please. Would you like some candy, sir? On Thank you. Oh, there you go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't see my channel yet? Yeah. MK Tech, check it out on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe and watch, put likes. Don't don't comment anything ridiculous, John. <laughs> comment only good. Be like, dude, nice. Mike, you're doing great. You look good. Well, you know, right. keep it up. I don't know if John knows good. <laughs> oh, man. And how does this work? You pump it and you You got to you put it on top of the radi radiator, right? Oh, let's get that rubber on there. Yeah. Always falls out. You put it in the reservoir or on the radiator itself? Well, wherever you can. In the radiator. Uh huh. Depends on. On the size? Yeah, whatever size or in the reservoir. And, and it has to fit all the way till the, till the bottom or like the cap, like to the end? Well, no, in there. Then you tighten it up and it expands to make it tight. Point you. And then you have pressure. Okay. You bump. Then you'll see where it was coming out. Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to try it out. Thank you. Thank you, guys. He's going to come back with a black guy. <laughs> right, thank you, John. See you, buddy. You thank you, Daniel. I'm out. I'll see you in a little bit. Later, Dave. I forgot to tell you, dudes. I forgot to tell you, viewers. I forgot to tell you, YouTubers, that I do have a coolant leak also. So I got this tool we're about to check out and see how it works. I got the right end of the tool from Advanced Auto to pressurize my coolant system and see where the leak is at. Well, one thing I want to mention about the, this Advanced Auto parts on uh, Henderson Road in RN. Guys do a great job, you know, giving the, providing the service that you need. I've been with them uh, coming to the store right here for uh, I think like 11 years now, and uh, guys are always been there, Daniel and uh, John, and they're always their service has been fantastic ever since I met the guys. So John and Dan, if you're watching, thank you so much. You guys are great. Now we're gonna pressurize this car. Probably gonna put the nozzle in here. 
So this is basically my coolant cap right here. I gotta find something similar to this so I can put it on top of here. So let me see if this is gonna work. Nope, this is too small. It looks almost identical. Is it gonna work? Six. Okay. Six seems to work, so let's see what it's gonna do. It's building pressure, look. See that? Pressurizing it. Wow. That's the way to do it. Okay, got it. So what we're doing here, I'm gonna pressurize the system with this pump to see where my coolant is leaking out. I gotta identify it and I can't, you can't catch it because it only leaks when the vehicle's cold and when you first start it. But since it's so low, it's hard to get underneath at that moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump it up to get the coolant pressurized and just detect the leak. So let's do this. found it. I'm gonna show you. Watch this. This is where the pressure is at. Pressurize it to 15 PSI. And now watch this. This is the bottom of the radiator. Now watch. And that is my friends where the leak is. The clamp doesn't hold I guess. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the clamp. There we go. On. See that right there? Watch it again. Bam. Bingo. The tool is amazing. Rented the tool at Advanced Auto Parts, 270 bucks I think, just to rent, and then you bring it back to give you the money back. Pressurize the system to 15 psi. Found the leak right there. Let's depressure, uh, depressurize the system and get another clamp and fix it. Watch this. There's a little knob here. You push. Boom. Zero. Release this. Back into the kit. Look at this kit. All different nozzles. This is a cool kit. We use the number six. Let's take it off. Push it down, release. Really cool, really cool tool. Put it back in here. And that's that. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Perfect. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you step by step how to change the brake pads and assemble everything back together. Okay, so first is first, I'm gonna clean up the rust a little bit here because it's been standing for a while. Once again, I'm working on a 370Z. So uh, we got the rotors turned and uh, we got new, brand new brake pads. So we'll be assembling this all together now. Okay, here's my rotors. See, they got them all nice and shiny. They've been turned. So we're gonna do this first. We're gonna go ahead and compress our I don't want to bleed the fluid, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my cylinder is compressed right here. It needs to be compressed in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a method that I always use. I'm going to use my... Um, C-clamp. And my old brake pads. Put this here. 
here. Use a little stick so I won't scratch my caliper. And we'll do this. See how we did that? So that's compressed. See that right there? That's what we need. Okay, now let's put our roller on. on get our new brand new brake pads and new ones so this is the old one compared to the new one you can see that this side and go on, on this side tighten the bolts back That's tightened. I'm not gonna go into torques. Okay, so this is on right here. Now we're gonna put this back on right this little plate and these little spacers in. So what we're gonna do is start out with this plate, you see that right here? Align that. I'm gonna put this bad boy in here. Slide it right through this one and then slide it through that brake pad right here. And then we got another one right there. Slide it through that one. Oops. Okay. We got a little small little hammer here. And that one in. Make sure the holes are right there. Put that one in right there. Get a little clips, little bad boys right here, and we're gonna put them right back into those slots. One and two. Excellent. Everything's back on, and this is gonna get tightened with a with a wheel. Okay, let's put our tools back inside here. Make sure not to forget to put your bolt back on right here. Let's tighten. Guys, ready? Moment of truth. Okay, here's the brakes. I'm about to hit him right now. And my steering wheel, steady. Very great success. Let's try one more time. My alignment's still off, but let's check this out again. Okay, brakes. Oh my goodness, they are awesome. Wow. No more of a steering wheel going crazy on us or on me remember what i was doing earlier wow this is amazing i love this car right now everything that i wanted to do today was successfully done the coolant leak is fixed the uh brakes got new brake pads got my rotors turned and uh the issue that we were having this morning with the brakes is completely gone my brakes feel really firm they feel uh, even stronger than they did before because of the new brake pads. The car feels just phenomenal right now. Next thing we're gonna be doing is we gotta get the alignment done. Uh, gotta get new tires for the front. And uh, we can start having fun with it. But I do wanna complete everything before we start messing around more than that and start test driving this bad boy. Okay guys, that's it for my vlog. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, put the thumbs up for likes. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, just follow my channel for more adventures. All right, have a good day. Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.